In this video I'm going to do a teardown of an Amazon Echo Dot uh, Revision 3. Uh, this is the version with the clock, as you can see on the front here. Um, this unit has previously been taken apart, because uh, we took it apart to do some high res photos. So this will be a video teardown, uh, first time trying this, so hopefully it will work. And uh, So it starts off, let's disconnect the power. Now the bottom's got a rubber pad, which just needs to be removed. And in the base of the unit, there's the debug USB port, same as the previous version, and four Torx screws, which need to be removed. Okay, that should remove the top of the case. So you've got the two halves here, the top section, or the base of the unit, with the inputs and a space along this edge here, which is where the clock display shows through. And then the main unit, which has got the speaker on this side and power control board. Uh, the USB debug header are these six pins here. And if we turn it over, you can see the clock display around this edge here with the clock chip just down in the corner. So the next thing to do is to take off the uh, PCB. And there's two small cables here which the, just need to be released. Okay, so that's the back board removed. So now take the other screws out to access the other side. So we've got the aluminium cast section here with the speaker and all the heat sinking in indents for all the components. And then we're down to the base circuit board, or the with the switch in section. So we'll take the screws out to remove, separate these parts. So around the outer edge, you can see all the LEDs, and this PCB should separate. From the top section. So on this side you've got the small buttons for the from the top and a, a rubberized gasket around the edge here. On this side you've got all the various circuitry which I'll look at in a minute under the microscope. So if we take the cover off here, that should pop off. It takes quite a lot of pressure to remove these covers. And then below that there's a small piece of heat transfer paste, or heat transfer paste. And then the processor for the top board is below there. Uh, the, the input board has a, has a larger cover over it, so let's take that one off. And here we have the main processor. Looking at the main processor board under the microscope, on the left side you can see the two connectors which connect to the speaker in the device, and the traces follow up to what must be the small amplifier chip. In the centre we have the DDR memory, a MediaTek ARM processor, which is an MT8516BAAA, to the right of the processor is the flash memory chip. On the large PCB, which is under the switch panel, there is a switch shown here and an optical sensor. On the reverse of the switch PCB is the main Wi-Fi controller chip in the center, which 
outputs to a PCB antenna, which is shown here. This is a flip-flop which turns the microphone inputs on and off. And here we have oh, just gone past the microphone. It is one of the microphone units. And then down to the ADC. And then across to a second ADC. Around the edge of the PCB are a series of RGB LEDs. And you can see the separate LED segments for the different colours. Okay, reassembly of the device is just a reverse of the disassembly. So we'll start off putting the heat pad back on the central Wi Fi chip. And then the metal can, which buckled a bit when it came apart. Before putting the rubber plate on, we'll just power it up to see if it actually works. And we seem to have the rotating lights. And the clock should initialise once it's been able to make a connection to the Wi Fi. And it's all back up and running again. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see any more teardown videos like this.